Hey everyone, Nafajal Tech here and today I would like to show you a very easy alternative to both Incognito and 90DNS for a Nintendo Switch running atmosphere. Um, this way you can safely connect to the internet without your data being sent to the Nintendo servers. So this is just a really easy alternative and it works on any Switch that's running atmosphere version 0.18 or above. And what we are going to do is we are going to install a host file onto our Nintendo Switch, which basically tells Atmosphere to block outgoing connections to Nintendo servers. So all IP addresses of Nintendo servers are listed in that host file. So currently I'm in airplane mode since I'm running Atmosphere on my MUMMC partition. And if you want a full guide on how to install Atmosphere on your Nintendo Switch, I will leave a full installation guide linked in the video description. But for this tutorial, all you need to do is just power off your switch since you're going to need to transfer the host file to a microSD card. So just power it off, grab the microSD card and plug the microSD card into your PC using a microSD card adapter. If you don't have one yet, I have some handy links in the video description for USB cables, microSD adapters and also for pellet injectors. So feel free to check those out. Um, over on our PC, we can just minimize out of this window and you can head over to this website. And of course, I will also leave this link down in the video description. So uh, starting from Atmosphere version 0.18, there's a new module introduced, which can automatically scan for an MUMMC.txt file and apply any settings that are listed within this text file. So you can just click on it, it will download it and here you can see that it's an alternative to 90DNS since it blocks the connections with all these IP addresses. So what you need to do is just download this MUMMC text file and place it on your desktop. So I have it right here. Then you can open up Windows File Explorer. And here all we need to do is just go to Atmosphere, go to Hosts, and here you want to drag and drop the MUMMC.txt file into. So now all connections to the Nintendo servers should be blocked as long as we're running Atmosphere uh, on an MUMMC partition. So it also lists here how to do it. So insert your SD card into your PC. We've done that. And the Atmosphere folder. And go to the host folder. If you don't have it, just create it inside the Atmosphere folder. So if it isn't right here, just right click and create a new folder named host. And then you want to paste the MUMMC TXT into there. And that's basically it. So now if I try to boot my switch into atmosphere, so just give me a second right here. I'll plug in the micro SD card. And I'm going to use a payload injector. So again, if you don't have a payload injector, I do have some links in the video description. They also come with this handy RSTM jig to boot our switch into the recovery mode. So just slide in the right joycon rail. Press and hold the volume up button as well as the power button. And I can just insert the payload injector. And this will boot my switch into the atmosphere custom firmware. And as I said, this method will work as long as you're running a somewhat recent, recent version of atmosphere. So in my case, I'm using atmosphere 1.0. But you should be fine if you have 0.18 or above. So. Once the switch is booted, we can unlock it. Now I can disable flight mode, let my switch connect to the internet, and then I should be able to launch all applications, be connected to the internet, use the Homebrew App Store. But if I try to open up, for example, the eShop from Nintendo, then the connection to this app should be blocked since we are connecting to the, or it's attempting to connect to Nintendo servers. So this way you can still connect your switch to the internet if you're using a custom firmware, as I said, to download Humphrey applications, for example. But if you try to play a game online, or if you try to uh, update your firmware, then you should be getting an error message, something like this. So unable to display page, and that's because we cannot actually connect to the Nintendo servers. So that's a really easy guide, and as I said, I will leave some links down in the video description to both this MUMSC TXT file, to the full atmosphere installation guide, and to some micro SD card adapters, uh, pellet injectors, and other high end stuff for a Nintendo Switch. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, guys. Peace out.